welcome to Education Today. I'm Chris Garitano, Armstrong School District's Multimedia Technician. Here at Education Today, our goal is to showcase the teachers and students as well as our school district. Tonight, we are going to cover a recently awarded grant in the school district. These grants are made possible through the ASD Foundation, and each month the Foundation accepts grant applications from faculty and staff members who work in the district. Tonight's grant is a truly innovative idea which brings new technology and educational practices to the district's classrooms and is just one of many that have been awarded this year. We have two guests with us to talk about this grant tonight. Welcome to Education Today. Would you guys please introduce yourselves and their roles with the school district? Robin Lemon, I'm the art teacher at Catanning High School. Okay. Um, Stephanie Rizzo, I'm the art teacher at Fort City High School as well as West Shemokin High School. Okay. Uh, how long have you guys been with the district now? 27 years. All right. This is my sixth year. Sixth year, okay. Uh, now, as the topic of the show tonight, we are talking about grants. Could you just tell us the name of your grant and when it was awarded to you? Well, it's the STEAM Art, and we were awarded it at the end of last year so that we would have the materials for this year. Okay. And could you tell us what the STEAM stands for? Um, STEAM stands for... Um, Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Mathematics. Okay, and it's a build off of the STEM yes. uh, initiatives the from a few years of art ago, to right? The program. Sure. Yes. Okay. Uh, now, what kind of grant did you apply for, and what students were or are currently impacted by it? We applied for the district-wide grant uh, because it did entail the whole district. Because it, the course that we have written is open to all students in the high school from. 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. Okay. All right, now could you tell us a little bit more about the grant that you wrote? Well, the grant that we wrote was a grant that would underwrite the program, the course that we were writing, which we wanted to implement technology into the program. The um, technology that the art department has had is outdated, mm -hmm. and we needed to move into the future with that. So we put for uh, the iPad carts so that each sure. classroom in the district and the art rooms would have iPads and that they could be integrated into that course. So the student would learn how to use the iPads, the iPad apps, as well as uh, creativity and the um, technology to build upon their art projects through the technology. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how did this idea first come about? I think we just, it, the, the outdated technology, we needed something also to get the kids um, cross-curriculum mm -hmm. against um, with the math and the science. Um, the kids were interested in it too, so I think it kind of helped that we had the class to offer them. Okay. Now did or does this grant, I, I guess we kind of hit on this, but it covers the whole district, but do multi, and we know that it covers you know 10th to 12th grade. But uh, how many other teachers um, are affected or work with this grant then? Well, each of the students that are in the program have to get a science mentor or math mentor, whichever concept that they're choosing. Okay. The student in this program, they are to take a concept or something that they're learning in another class like science, math, biology, mm -hmm. that they can show through a visualization of that project and then they're going to share it with a younger class, like a fourth grade or a fifth grade class. At the end of the year, they have to do a presentation of their artwork, which is an, a scientific concept, and sure. teach it to a group of fourth or fifth graders. Okay, that's kind of neat then. So you're, you're, they're taking whatever the subject, whatever subject they're choosing during the course of the, you know, that they have in their schedule, and they're applying the ideas of art to that. Yes, it has to, to be turned into an art project, project, but it has to be a scientific concept or a mathematical concept. Sure, okay, all right. And science and art, there's a big movement mm -hmm. with the scientific and the art, people making art based on scientific sure. concepts sure. throughout the world. And I, it really helps a child see what they're supposed to be learning. Well, and you know, uh, what we're learning and finding out every day is, you know, the students, especially now, are visual learners, which is probably driven by the technology that's out there that, you know, they have in their hands every day, so. Yes. Um, now, we kind of briefly hit on this in a few years ago. Um, the STEM robotics course was put into the curriculum. Are there any connections other than that 
the art side of it has been added to it? Are there any connections or correlations between the robotics course and what you guys do with the art side of it? Well, I think the correlation is the hands-on, mm -hmm. that you're taking a concept and you're actually making something. You're actually uh, creating that learning process where the, you take the concept and you use it in a scale. Okay. Um, now, so for, I mean, it's new. You know, we're about halfway yeah. through the year right now. <laughs> um, but to this point, how have the students reacted to the grant? Either you know their reactions or thoughts or any feedback that you've gotten at this point. Well, I think first of all, it's a, a new program, so it's hard for students to understand exactly what it is, and they're not sure exactly what, who should be taking it. Sure. Which any student could take it, but you do have to have an understanding of scientific concepts or math. You have to have something that you're very interested in. And then you have to be able to transfer that into a visual. Mm -hmm. So it, it is a lot tougher than people think, but once I think students understand what they're doing mm -hmm. and what they're expected of them, they get it. The first part of it is just research, where they're right. trying to come up with some idea that they could put in a concept. And that idea might not stay with them. Sure, they yeah. might, as they're working through their concept, come up with a, another idea and go completely off that. Right. I have a student right now that was working on taking one of the planets, and first he made the planet, and then he painted it in oil paint, and now he's researching what the atmosphere would be, and he's going to write a, a, a child's storybook on oh. those concepts to okay. present to the students later, later on at the end of the year. But it took them a while. It's like, the, it's, it's hard to realize what it is. Right. And you do, it's not that you have to be artistic, it's more that students haven't been that creative. Mm -hmm. It's like coming up with an idea yourself. Right. Like how you can present that, and I think that's the biggest challenge for our kids right now. Because everything now is like you pick up your computer, you look at it, you see it, it's done. You really exactly. don't have to. Oh, there's an idea here, an idea there, and <laughs> they don't come up with them themselves. Like mm -hmm. when you're little and you're like making things in your imagination. So this really brings them back to those basics. Right. But they're using higher level thinking, mm -hmm. and so I think it's such an asset for any student to take this and, and for colleges to see that you have that sure, on your yeah. transcript. I, I think that more students next year need to look at it. This year we don't, it's a smaller group of people that's taking advantage of it. But I think by next year we'll have more people there because they're seeing now like how you put it together. So it's really a work in progress. Sure, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I know I, I find myself uh, different projects I've worked on where, and it's kind of similar, but I almost find myself working backwards because instead of trying to figure out an idea and making that idea happen, I try to think, how can I make the, what can I, what do I know enough about, what can I make the end product and work backwards to figure everything out to build, you know, the concept of it. So um, I, I think you're absolutely right as far as preparing them for what they're going to, what they should expect when they graduate because, you know, college is going to be a lot of stuff like that, you know, researching what you're going to do and, you know, showcasing an end product like that. So. Um, now, have you noticed a difference in students learning as far as they're picking up on concepts or more quickly, um, you know, uh, relating things together? Anything to that effect yet? I think I, between the two schools, I've, I see the Fort City and the, the West Shemokin kids working on their projects. And between the first semester and the start of the second semester, there's a big difference in how they're taking their ideas and going with them again. Some kids have actually changed their idea from the first semester, they finished their first semester project, and for the second semester they decided that they wanted to do something different mm -hmm. because I, they got the concept of what the class was about so that they knew they, you know, they, they were thinking about what they were going to do next and I think they realized that something was better um, visually so they went with that. So they're changing the way they're thinking after going through the process. Mm -hmm. Sure, okay. Um, now, just kind of going back to the writing, um, when you were writing the grant, what was that process like, and had you ever done anything <laughs> like this before that? Well, it wasn't the first grant that we tried to get. We, we've been trying because we needed to update all our technology in the art department, we, we, our creative suite, all those different things that we had that were definitely outdated it had been years since we had things in our department. Mm -hmm. So we had been researching like different kinds of grants. So 
um, uh, Sean Murkowski. Mm -hmm. She was very in instrumental in helping us write that pro do that process. So mm -hmm. we worked on it. Um, and it, just getting the course outline, what we really wanted, that objective. But once the actual filling out the application mm -hmm. was very simple. Okay. Like once you fill in the blanks and you have the answers, like we figured out what the answer is, you just fill it in. And the first time we applied for this grant, we, we applied in the fall mm -hmm. last year, and uh, we didn't get it. It was the uh, the music department got the guitars, which I think is a wonderful program, so I could see, you know, that. Mm -hmm. And then the next round, we did get it. Right. But I do think people have to realize that these grants are rolling grants now. Right. You yes. can apply at any time. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that people need to um, use that as a great resource for their classroom because for our classroom it has been so beneficial to have yes. this. There would be no way that we could get those things. Yeah, I mean, and it, it's something I, you know, I sit, as you, I'm sure you know, I sit on the on the board of the foundation and the executive director for it, and um, we get, especially this past year, we got more grant applications than we've ever gotten before, which was great. Um, we came, we came, a lot of different ideas came about, a lot of really neat grants that I'm looking forward to seeing how they end up turning out as the year comes to its conclusion. But, um, you know, I, we try to make the application process simple because I know as a teacher you hear grant writing and you think mm -hmm. of this big project, at least that's the Im image that I would have had of it originally. And um, so it's, it's good to hear that it was relatively yeah. simple to well, fill out once you get the Because I idea. had already written one before for another. <laughs> process which was quite intensive and quite quite more intensive than that <laughs> so but this is it's 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 harmless you know and it's one that people should just sit down think it through mm -hmm. see what the benefits would be for your classroom if there's something that you feel would really be creative and innovative then just go for it sometime it might go through that's right <laughs> yes. you never know you never know um, now what is or uh, or what is the biggest benefit of having this grant awarded and instituted in your classes at this point? Well, I think for the whole department, it's to have more students come into our classroom and see how art can be an integral part of your education, mm -hmm. and even if you didn't plan on being an artist. Right. I mean, the art world is the biggest market in the world. Everything you do is visual. Right. So all those people that you see, if you're mathematically inclined and you have a little bit of creativity and art, that's great. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can do amazing things. And I don't think a lot of students realize that, that you have to, even if you're good in art, you think you're, you need to take art classes. Right. <laughs> like uh -huh. when you go to those schools, people want to see that you have been in a structured art room right so mm -hmm. that you have some background I think it it has also brought in kids that were maybe shy of taking the art but because of this uh, steam program they feel more comfortable because they they might be stronger in science and math and so now they're getting both right. and they're really excelling in it okay all right, well, we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back with Armstrong School District's Education Today. Stick around. It's hard to explain. It just became home. There are hundreds of majors and programs, bachelor's degrees to PhDs, small classes and faculty that really get to know you. Amazing internships and everywhere programs that help to find a job that is right for you. It's what IUP is about, a commitment to your success. See it for yourself. Visit us, Indiana University of Pennsylvania. Find your success. We're back with Armstrong School District's Education Today. We're talking about grants awarded through the ASD Foundation. Tonight's grant is one that helped fund the new STEAM art course here at Armstrong School District. Uh, now, could you guys give us, uh, we've talked a lot about the grant in first half, but could you give us any more detail to what exactly this course is going to do for the students or what exactly it is? Well, it, what exactly it is when the student comes to our class, they will first get their iPads, sign their agreement. Um, we'll talk a little bit about the class and what the requirements are. We'll give them the rubric that they follow throughout the year, and we're like on a time a syllabus that's set by time. So that the development of their idea mm -hmm. is the first part of it, and then they have to get a mentor in the school or a mentor in the in the community. Okay. They can use any environmental resources. 
Um, they can use any teacher, that business people, anybody that's um, you know has a company that deals with something in science or okay. something in biology, or it could be something at the hospital, mm -hmm. but something that somebody that can say yes, that fact is correct. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then we go through um, after they come up with, they do a lot of research and um, just trying to come up with a solid idea and then substantiate it. And then we have to show them how to use, like what materials. Right. Mm -hmm. So they have the art part of it also, where they're like coming cold in. A lot of them, I mean, some right. of them have art, but some of them, the ones that come in cold, they don't, they don't know how to paint, they don't know how to use oils, they don't know mm -hmm. how to use acrylics. Uh, we have someone making handmade paper. It's all things that they're, it's completely foreign to them. Mm -hmm. So the first nine weeks is basically an exploration. Sure, okay. And then as they start developing their program. Do you want to talk any about that? Developing their, so they have a student at Fort City who's doing a. Yeah, there's a girl at Fort idea. City. She took the concept of different types of insects, and how they work, and she worked with a lot of different teachers, science, um, and she did a lot of the engineering part of it, where she actually made the, the insects light up. Like mm -hmm. she did a lightning bug that lights up, and. Um, a firefly believed the wings might actually move. So she's incorporating different, just not one, like science or math. She's trying to touch base on everything of, that has to do with STEAM. So it's really neat to watch her. And she's actually carrying it on to the second semester. She's doing it as a full year project. Okay. So it'll be really neat to see. Yeah, it'll be something neat once she gets to the point of um and it, I guess this will be something she'll present then at the at some point at the end of the year. Yes, we are having an art show at the end of the year that will show the STEAM projects as well as all the art projects from okay. elementary and high school. That's part of the requirement that they make a presentation, mm -hmm. either to community or school. Okay. So through that, the community part will cover. But if they have a concept that is. Um, something that we could use for elementary, then they'll go to the elementary school and present it to a classroom also. Okay. Or they'll put it up in the hall because it does have to end up being a piece of artwork. Right. That's the whole idea, that the visualization is art. Right, okay. Well, I think this, especially projects like that, you know, I see it being a, a nice visual tool to be able to actually, if they're gonna be presenting these, to actually get you know, a camera down there and, and maybe record the presentation, see what some of these different projects are that are coming out of this. Yeah, that'd be fun. So, yeah. So you just have to keep us and up that, to date on it. And I think that creates excitement mm -hmm. when students see what other students can do. Right. It's like taking that fifth grade science class where you used to have the hands on mm -hmm. and, and now taking it into a, another level. Right. And yeah, that's something even at the level of you know the students who are doing TV production courses that come into the studio to work on these shows. Um, different projects that we have them doing um, and the fact that you know, next year we're excited that the, right now our studio sits at the junior high school. The junior high school kids can't take the course but next year when it's in with, with the, the, it'll be in the same building as those high school students who could be taking the course, same concept. It's there, it's something for them to see, something to, for them to see what other kids are doing, exposure and hopefully you know, get a little bit more interest going with, with the class itself and with the program itself. And um, you know, one thing that we're looking at doing is taking the different departments, different types of things that our district does, like the STEM robotics course, the STEAM art courses, um, you know, as simple as the math department or the science department, and doing like short videos, having the advanced TV kids work on these short videos, and may basically make them a PR piece for not only the departments but also for the district. So that's something you know. I think when when the dates come up, when we know when this when these projects are going to be on display and presented, something we're going to want to know about. So we have that footage for next year. That would year. be great, yeah. definitely. Now you know we might have already hit on this. Is there anything else you'd like to add as far as what ele elements or aspects the course covers? No, I think we. I think we pretty well covered, covered it. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. think there's it's anything else. Okay. Uh, now, what are some of the challenges that you found that are associated with offering this course? If they could be your challenges, they could be ones you notice the students are having. But I think getting the kids to think outside the box a little bit. If they're more, you know, if they're more the science-based or the math-based, 
um, students coming into the class, getting them to think visually mm -hmm. is a hard thing, for, I think, for us teachers to do with them, you know. And two, it's like they're not just making a piece of art that looks like something. Mm -hmm. It has to show the concept. Right. And yeah. I think that's very difficult how they're, they, to wrap their head around how am I going to show the concept. I mean, I could do a painting of the rainforest, but what am I saying by that? Mm -hmm. Like when I take it out yeah. to the public, well, that's a nice picture of the rainforest, but what did you teach me? from seeing that and right. I think that for the kids that's very the students are having a hard time getting a hold of that concept right that yeah. you're actually supposed to be showing the concept and it should be something that by looking at your piece of art that they realize what the concept is right. even if you have to add a video to it mm -hmm. the video part of it is part of the art right and mm -hmm. that and, it, and sometimes that's hard and now on our iPads we have the apps to make sure. the video yes. so it's very simple to take if you're not that artistic mm -hmm. to take that type of material turn it into a video edit it and turn it into a great art piece right mm -hmm. so I think this class could be used by many, many students, and right now they don't realize that it is for them. Right. And that's probably our hardest concept, is to get that out to the public, that mm -hmm. your child, all students could take this class and it would be a benefit. Right. But it takes thought. Yeah. I mean, you have, it's not something you can, you can say, well, I'm gonna study for that test on Friday. Right, yeah. You have to develop it every day mm -hmm. like you have to keep working and it's more like everybody's doing something different you're on your own right you're like I'm here to help you but you as far as your concept and what you're doing you have to take charge of that mm -hmm. and that's that's something that a lot of them that's hard I, that, I think that's almost a unique aspect for uh, any high school kid you just don't have that happen very much in the tradition well in the traditional regular classrooms because it's just not how the education le doesn't lend itself to but that. in the world that's the way it exactly, is exactly right <laughs> you're on your own yeah and, and I think that's and that's what that goes back to what we talked about in the first half with it being a good preparation for yeah. life after yeah. school so I mean it's an excellent class and I, I just hope that people through the year really take you know, hold of the idea. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest thing, like anything else, will just be the idea. You know, obviously, it's not for every student. No. Okay? no. Um, but as long as the students aren't afraid of the work, because, you know, they're going to put work into it, and that's something else that'll come out of it. Okay, well, what did you think of this class last year? Well, this is what I, you, you know, what to expect. Um, and as long as they're not afraid of that, then though I think it's something that's going to really, you know, be something that expands a lot, and hopefully that it will. Um, you know, as the class becomes more known and, and we get some PR out about it, I think that's definitely something that needs to be done. So. I think so too. Um, ultimately, what are your goals with this grant? To get more, get more students too involved with it. Mm -hmm. I think after seeing the first year, a lot more students will um, come and take the class. I think we have, there's 11 at West Chamokin, 5 at Fort City. How many do you have? I have two. Okay, so, okay. I mean, we have close to 20 students taking it, mm -hmm. you know, right now. So I hopefully get some more students involved that way, um, and then we can write some more grants to get some more technology. Sure. And keep building the uh, program. Okay. And that kind of leads into our next question. Is this grant uh, generally a sustainable or is there going to be things that you're going to need additional funding for as the years move on? Well, right now, I think what we have, what's implemented right now, is what we can use. But I'm sure as time goes on and technology changes, things mm -hmm. we'll have to add to it as the program grows. Sure. Okay. Um, now, STEM is a relatively new push in our classrooms. Can you tell us what STEM objectives actually are? Well, it's exactly what we're doing. It's where students take what they're learning and they add the engineering, the math, the mm -hmm. art, well, but not STEM, but, but when it's, a, it's the curriculums working together to create a better student. Okay. Um, there are a couple of things in here I said about how STEM, how, what STEM-related objectives does this grant incorporate. We, we've kind of hit on that. I, I think we're kind of rehashing a little bit if we go back into that now. Um, 
but what kind of research or work did students uh, or are students going to need to ultimately complete um, to work through this grant? And I know that's again something that we've hit on a little bit, but is there anything you know, any other detail or specific part of that that you can get into, or that there is? Well, depending on which area they're working in, like mm -hmm. if it's science, they have to make sure that they're always researching and staying using accurate facts mm -hmm. and accurate visuals. Like whatever they do, it has to be accurate. Right. And I think that's like you, you can't change it a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it has to be right on. And I think for the students, staying right on to their concept and keeping focus mm -hmm. is probably the thing that we have to work on the most, like getting a focal point actually to the whole concept of the program. All right. Now, yeah. obviously, the idea here is that they're going to create some kind of a visual uh, learning tool. Mm -hmm. Now, as part of this project, also, that they have to have some, some kind of a written part. Is there a written part of it as well, I guess? The first part of it is a written part. Okay. You know, they, when they turn in their research, it has to be documented. Everything has to be documented mm -hmm. for us to see. And then it has to be um, approved that it's correct, all their facts. Right. But what I found is they continue to do research, mm -hmm. and they have to document it. Mine have folders, and they have sketchbook journals mm -hmm. that they have to, even if they're not artistic, they have to journal and write their facts in it, anything they find, sketches, they add it to that. So as the year goes on, and they have to farther develop their idea, mm -hmm. they have the original research. They probably spent quite a bit of time at the beginning just researching ideas. Right. But I made them document everything that they did. So they have those folders also. Mm -hmm. In the end though, they will have to write mm -hmm. the, what their presentation, they have to write a presentation. Okay. Well, I appreciate you guys coming in to talk about the grant today. Uh, and that is our show for today. I'd like to thank our guests, Ms. Robin Lemon and Ms. Stephanie Rizzo, both teachers here in the Armstrong School District. Both were involved in the writing of this grant to help bring the new STEAM art course to the Armstrong School District. Our thanks also go out to the TV production students of Catanning High School, led by their teacher, Mr. Don Swanson. They were our film crew for today. Please join us again next week for another look at the Armstrong School District. Visit our website for updated information about the district, and have a great week.